Hey everyone, Lauren Jones here, your estate planning and business law attorney coming to you from California. And we are talking today about why can't I just hand write uh, my changes on my trust. And um, you know someone that's done it because I have. <laughs> but I mean, I see this for a living, so of course I have, but you all know someone that's done it. They're like, well, so I had this consultation the other day and someone had a trust and they said, well, it said he can amend it any time. And I said, yeah, he can't. He just can't handwrite it in there because who is even giving the authority that is that person's handwriting? That's why we don't just let you to handwrite in the trust. Who says that there's no identification authentication? There's nothing. I mean, we all know, right? We all know right now about two factor authentication. There's no authentication there like we don't know who that person is they hand wrote those notes and what if someone else hand wrote over them and what and what if it doesn't even make sense any longer because they didn't know what they were writing in there and it conflicts with something else so the the short of it is don't hand write on your trust i even have clients that wanted to change their trust and they came back to me and they decided they would cross it off in their trust and i don't even want that because what we do when we amend, we make the amendment say that we're taking out certain sections and adding in new sections, right? But we don't take the old papers away. We still want to be able to see kind of how things have fallen, right? What the changes were. Because we want it to be clear what sections were removed and what sections were added in and what happened. And so that's what we try to describe in the amendments on how that works. So. If you need to amend your trust, and everyone does at some point almost, I mean, that's just how it is. Your life changes, so therefore your trust should change to fit you. So when you need amendments, I'm gonna say if, I'm gonna say when you need amendments, please talk to an attorney, likely the attorney that did it for you because that's gonna be probably way cheaper for you anyway. But talk to an attorney and let them handle the amendments do not just go try to write notes on the side because we cannot legally count those and who we do not want you to pass away without your wishes actually being fulfilled so just talk to an attorney get the amendments done properly get them notarized the whole thing that needs to get done and then make sure that your estate plan is exactly the way you want if you need amendments and you're ready for that or you have any questions about your estate planning please feel free to give us a call we'd be happy to help Thanks.